this is the first video of code for beginner.net we'll actually start with setting up the environment well uh, you need two applications one is visual studio.net and uh, of course we are going to use database so let's go ahead and uh, download sql server as well now uh, there are two options to install uh, visual studio as well as SQL Server, one is actually using the web platform installer and the other one is actually go to Google search for Visual Studio 2012 Express and uh, select the download option. The same for SQL Server 2012 Express. Anyway, uh, let me Start with downloading the platform installer. In uh, platform installer, you can see that uh, you have most of the latest versions of software that is available and it's very easy for you you can just click click and install but I prefer to download the application and install for the reason that uh, sometimes the internet connection might get disconnected and the installation process get uh, uh, broken or uh, if you have a slower connection it is always better to download the application and install it so I mean uh, click installing any of the products or applications is as clicky as uh, easy as clicking on add here I would actually go ahead uh, download the express edition of Visual Studio 2012 and install it now with express edition you have several options uh, one is actually for web one for windows 8 applications uh, one is actually for Windows desktop and one for phone uh, if you are planning to get a, a paid license version that is uh, professional or ultimate all these are packed into one uh, the main advantage of Express Edition is uh, the license is free you don't have to pay for the license if you're a student Microsoft has a couple of more options you can uh, join their DreamSpark program and get some of the licenses at uh, no cost to you I think it might be as simple as just enrolling it so just uh, try it out and uh, for this tutorial I'll just go ahead and download uh, web edition because that is what uh, most of our projects are going to be on web based here uh, there are two options one is uh, installing the installing using the web installer um, that option we have ruled out so I'll go ahead and download the ISO file all right it is actually 487 MB so it's actually going to take a little bit of time and uh, let's go to SQL Server 2012 Express here also there is a download option and here are a couple of options you can actually just download the management studio express and uh, and this SQL Server 64 ENU so management studio and express are this is good enough for us so I'll just pick the first one that is SQL e, e express 64 ENU and uh, the management studio express 
anyway i already have a download version of this so i would actually use that you, you guys can go ahead and download this if you have enough bandwidth go ahead and download the 1.3 that is advanced that has everything on it so i'll just wait for the download to complete okay my download is complete so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mount this Visual Studio, all I need to do is right click, click on mount and install it. Alright, uh, let me just click on launch. It's a registration, so I'll just go ahead and register using a live ID. I already have a live ID, so uh, If you don't have an ID, ID, just uh, register online and you can get a uh, product key for this. So basically once you log in, uh, once you have registered, it will actually take you to a form where uh, you need to fill in your information. Alright, uh, you get your product key. So, first thing to do is actually to save it. Just click on next and Alright, here you go. Uh, you you have the Visual Studio installed. I'll just create a new application just to make sure that uh, everything is working. Let's create a web application. Just browse it to. D Murugan select this folder and just name this application as hello world just click on ok all right now you can see that uh, Visual Studio has created some code for me we're not going to go through this now we'll just click on on this button and uh, we'll run the application okay so basically I have the application working so I know that the installation is done perfectly and I'm ready to start uh, programming again uh, I had mentioned about uh, downloading the SQL Express. I already have downloaded it here. For you, you can go and down, uh, ahead and download it. Now we'll actually uh, leave the installation of S SQL Server for later. Uh, we will we will go through a chapter on how to install SQL Server and start using it when we actually get into using databases. But if you have already downloaded it and if you want to go ahead and install it, please do that. All right. Uh,
thank you uh, feel free to call contact me if you have any questions uh, you can visit our website codeforbeginner.com mvcforbeginner.com dotnet for beginner.com uh, or uh, you can actually click on uh, join the facebook group a lot of good people out there who are willing to help you out thank you